Hello everybody, this is Jandy the Artsy Rose and welcome back to Next Before We Met Story! Thank you everybody for helping me with this love challenge and I hope I'm being of use to you with your love challenges. Uh... <sighs> so, shall we, shall we enjoy the fruit of our labor? If you say so, I believe. I can have hope. You people are very good. Hey, hey, don't go starting some tiresome chip chat. Some tiresome chat. I haven't had enough yet. Fight me! Victor tried to raise his arm, but the king easily held him down. Calm down. Darn you. Gritting his teeth with a furious look, Victor glared at the king. If he strains himself that hard, he's probably going to burst a blood vessel. It was the moment I thought that when... All the strength was lost from Victor's stiff face. Hmm? Victor's back. Victor collapsed to the ground on the spot, and it was almost like he was asleep. What happened? Are you okay? Victor, who everyone else couldn't see, was shaking Victor's body and worrying about him. Hey, his body is shaking on his own. On his own. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Eventually, Victor slowly opened his eyes. You're okay? You're okay? What was I? I thought I was talking to Orlando. Hmm. He seems kind of different. Is he half asleep? This is the real Victor. I think he must have multiple personalities. Multiple personalities? Multiple personalities? Now I understand. He's Victor. He's a newly deceased person who's been revived by the king. His job after death, his job before death, was a doctor. He came to the castle on his own, and we were talking about how things would be when he suddenly went berserk. I can't just stand there being beaten, so it turned into a fight. I couldn't stand there just being beaten, so I turned into a fight. So it turned into a fight. I'm sorry. Victor made his large body as small as he could and apologized. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, at least, didn't ha at least it didn't happen during the narration. Otherwise, that really would have bugged me. this nature of mine? I'd hoped that it would be cured when I died, but I guess things aren't that easy. I can't really control it. It was probably my wild personality that went berserk. He's bad-tempered. Oh, Watching a sad Victor, even Nick looked depressed. He's regretting what he's done. But he can't do anything about it. It's so depressing that he's blaming himself for it. A person like me isn't qualified to be a doctor. That's not true. It's people who've just... It's people who've been through... It's people who've gone through pain who can be kind to others the most. Victor couldn't hear Nick trying his best to comfort him. Victor. 
The king, who had been listening in silence to Victor speak, quietly walked up to him. Don't worry about it too much. But don't you think it would cause trouble to have a person like this in your land? Not at all. The king smiled kind-heartedly. It's more fun if there are different kinds of people. If you're a doctor, even the land of the dead needs a doctor. And you're a doctor, even the land of the dead needs a doctor. Help the residents of Nivelheim, not just to take bodies, but also their hearts. Their hearts? So, would he be considered... Would he technically be a therapist, too? A psychologist? Nick watched, Nick watched John with bright eyes, listening close to er, listening close to his every word. I can't trust people who are perfect. Because people who haven't felt pain before don't know how the pain of others feels. The king is saying the same thing. Same kind of thing Nick, Nick said. They are brothers after all. I think that you, the one who thinks that he isn't qualified to be the doctor, is the most qualified to be the doctor of Nifalham. The king's voice was warm and comforting, as if to gently enclose his surroundings. Before we continue on with our narration, I'd like to say something. Is all happening before the Lefru festival took place because Nick and the princess haven't done anything with the Lefru festival, haven't done anything to participate in the Lefru festival. Well, at least in this time period. The voice of Nick gently spoke, gently speaking to the dog, came back to my ear. Are you guarding this place? Good boy. It's okay. We're not going to do any harm to this house. So don't worry. They are the same. Jean and Nick are different people, but their true nature is the same. I saw something shine in the corner of Victor's eye. I pretended not to see it. Thank you. I will live here at Nifalam as a doctor. I'm counting on you. Nick, who I realized had come to my side, said quietly, I like Jean. Me too, I like the king too. And Nick, I like you too. Nick smiled shyly. I thought that it was there that Jean can't see me when I can see him. But I still like him. I'm glad I came from Helium to Nifilam. To Nifilam. I won't regret coming here. I think there will be I think I'm a time that I feel pain and loneliness. I still think that I won't regret my choice to come to Nifilam. This is where I belong. That's right. This is where you belong. I hug Meg with all my might. It might have seemed up for everyone else since they can't see Nick. But I didn't care about that anymore. Uh, oh, this is strange. Another love challenge? Since when are there- I don't remember there being three love challenges in a- Am I the only one that's confused right now? Well, everybody, I guess that's that for now. I will see you all in the next video.